Hello friends. So in today's session, I'm going to show you how to take snapshot of VM in a VMware from vCenter. Okay. So you can see this is my VM and uh, I'm going to take this snapshot of this VM. So I will let, uh, later I will explain you why we why need to take the snapshot and what reason we are taking the snapshot. So those things I will explain you later. So first let me show you how to take the snapshot. So you can see the, uh, this Terraform, this is a, my VM and this VM is a, a running here. So you can take the snapshot in a two way. So you can take the snapshot, and you can running system and the, or you have to do the power off and then you take the snapshot. So better option is you first you have to power off, power off the machine, power off the system and then you take the snapshot. And uh, or like if you want to take the snapshot running system also that you can also take. Okay, so in my case, I'm not going to power off this system and I will just want to show you how to take the snapshot. Okay, so what we have to do once you are logging to the vCenter, then you search your VM. So you can search here in the option. You maybe you will get here also search option. You can search your VM name and then once you search your VM name. So like you suppose if you're working in a large organization, so like you have a multiple VM, right? So then you have to search that VM, right? In my case, only one VM is there. So it's very easy. So uh, so what you have to do, you have to select your VM and then right mouse click. And after the right mouse click, you have to go to the snapshot option. You can see snapshot. So here you can see it's uh, showing that take the snapshot. You have to click on the take the snapshot. And the here in the, then you have to give the name here. So I'm going B before before activity and like you if you want you can give your date okay current current date and the in the description if you want something uh, like you want why you taking this snapshot so description you can if you want you can give here okay so testing for example i am going testing here okay so here you no need to click on the here the machine uh, and this memory part you have to uncheck this one okay and then you click on the take snapshot so you can see snapshot before activity did it successfully created so your snapshot is created now how you have to validate it's created or not what you have to do again you have to right mouse click go to the snapshot option and then manage snapshot if you click here, you can see here your snapshot details are showing here. Okay, it's a created which date and all those details are showing here. Okay. So in this way, you can take the snapshot. Now question is why we need to take the snapshot. For example, uh, you know, when you're doing any major activity on your system, for example, you doing a patching, you upgrading your system, or any any major activity when you're doing. So before that, you should have to take the snapshot. Why? Because if something goes wrong, then you know, like if you have a snapshot, you can revert revert back from there. Let me tell you one example here. So in, you have one system, and that system, uh, like server, in that server, uh, application is running or database is running. Okay and you patch that server like you upgraded the kernel and you install some package okay for example you install the, some package you maybe you patch upgraded the kernel and after that you know like you rebooted the system once you rebooted the system then application team not able to you know start the, their application db team not able to start their database so then that case what you have to do if you have the snapshot, you can revert back from the previous state. Okay, like before, like uh, suppose uh, if you are before the upgrade the kernel, before the uh, install any package, if you take in the snapshot before that, so if you have that snapshot, you can easily you can revert back. So then it's a it's server server will came up with the previous state. So then application team, you know, maybe they will start. They are able to start that application database also. They will be able to start that application. So that's the reason we are taking the snapshot. Okay. So I hope uh, you like this video. In the next video, I will show you how to restore from the snapshot. Okay. So uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, thanks for your watching. Have a nice day. Thank you.